Hello, I'm Dr. Jameel. I'm a surgical gastroenterologist and laparoscopic surgeon at Apollo Hospitals in Chennai. Uh, according to the World Health Organization 2020 report, cancers of the colon and rectum are the third most common cancers worldwide. And they are the second most common cause of cancer-related deaths worldwide. As far as India is concerned, the number of cases per 100,000 population uh, may not be as high as what it is in the Western world. However, we are a large country with a, more than a billion and a half population and therefore the actual numbers of colorectal cancers may be very high. And uh, more worryingly, uh, the numbers of new colorectal cancers have gone up in the last decade or decade and a half. Uh, to be more precise, uh, between the year 2004 and 2014, according to one published report in India, the number of new colorectal cancers have gone up by about 20%. Colorectal cancer is fatal. Well, the short answer is no. Like any other cancer, the outcome of treatment of colorectal cancer is also dependent on the stage at which the patient presents to the doctor. If it is an early cancer, by which I mean cancer which is confined to just the colon or the rectum and the tissues around it, and if the patient gets the appropriate treatment in the form of surgery or chemotherapy or radiotherapy or combination of them, the, uh, the, the outcome is excellent. The survival rates are very good. In fact, the published literature suggests that patients with early cancers who have had uh, a proper multidisciplinary treatment, they, they, they have a five-year uh, survival rate of close to 95%. Screening is only necessary for individuals with colorectal cancer symptoms. Screening, by definition, is uh, performing an investigation on an individual when he or she does not have any symptoms. So if a person develops symptoms of colorectal cancer, such as uh, bleeding through the back passage or passage of mucus through the back passage or any change in bowel habits and then goes on to have investigations, then, then that's not called screening. So it needs to be done well before the symptoms start. Only people with a family history of colorectal cancer will develop colorectal cancer. There is definitely a genetic predisposition for colorectal cancer. In fact, uh, specific genes have been identified MSH2, MSH6, MLH1 on, on various chromosomes, just to name a few. Uh, and there are also some recognized familial conditions which predispose an individual to colorectal cancer. Uh, just the two famous ones, the two most common ones being the FAP, which stands for familial adenomatous polyposis, and Lynch syndrome, which is also known as familial non-polyposis colorectal cancer. Colorectal cancer strikes older men. Yes, uh, uh, the vast majority of uh, patients who have colorectal cancer are over the age of 50, but then uh, this cancer can occur in any age group. Uh, in fact, worldwide as well as in India, it has been shown that the number of new colorectal cancers in younger individuals has increased over the last 10 or 15 years. Colonoscopy is a difficult procedure to undergo. Colonoscopy is now a well-established and a standardized procedure in the management pathway of uh, colorectal cancers. Uh, it's been around for over three decades now and uh, it is uh, um, it's a, it's a well-standardized procedure uh, and, and it has a very low complication rate and in most individuals it can be done as a daycare procedure. Most of the time when you are diagnosed with colorectal cancer it has already spread to other parts of the body. Approximately 20 percent of colorectal cancers present at an advanced stage and that's the worldwide uh, data. Uh, in India that number might be slightly higher. Basically what it means is the vast majority of patients come at a stage where treatment with curative intent is possible. Uh, but uh, unfortunately some patients come at an advanced stage and uh, in India uh, patients uh, uh, present at an advanced stage uh, because uh, of uh, uh, a lack of uh, population based screening 
and uh, uh, a variety of other social and economic reasons uh, that might impair access to timely uh, intervention and timely diagnosis and intervention. If my colon cancer has spread, I will never be cured, I will never be uh, living long. Well, uh, up until uh, 15 or 20 years ago, if the colorectal cancer had spread to the lungs or to the liver or to other parts of the body, uh, the patient was uh, uh, deemed as having end-stage disease, uh, metastatic disease and, uh, and treatment with curative intent was not an option uh, and these patients were uh, treated along uh, what we call as a palliative care pathway. Uh, things have changed uh, in the last uh, 10 or 15 years. Um, there's been uh, uh, a lot of uh, improvement in uh, uh, treatment strategies, newer chemotherapeutic agents, newer radiation protocols, and uh, the surgical expertise has also improved over the years. And therefore, um, even if the patients present at a stage where the disease has spread to uh, uh, liver or to the lungs, in certain uh, specific individuals, and this is a decision that is made after discussion in the multidisciplinary uh, team, uh, in certain individuals treatment can be initiated with a curative intent. A person cannot get uh, colorectal cancer before the age of 50. That's certainly not true. Uh, yes, the vast majority of patients with colorectal cancer are over the age of 50. But uh, uh, data from India as well as uh, from the rest of the world suggests that there's uh, a significant growing number of patients uh, less than the age of uh, 50 also developing colorectal cancers. Women don't get colorectal cancer. Certainly that's not true. Um, colorectal cancer affects both genders. But yes, there is a slight uh, male preponderance. Males are about 20 to 30 percent more likely to develop uh, uh, colorectal cancer than females. Uh, that uh, gender disparity um, uh, is, is, is in fact higher with rectal cancers than with colon cancers. I hope uh, uh, that was uh, quite informative and it helped in clearing some of the myths, misconceptions associated with colorectal cancer.